Hi, this is Colin Receiver with Smartbox Web Marketing and today I'm going to show you something about Google Analytics and AdWords and how Google might have been feeding you some bad information uh, with regards to your keywords that you're bidding on. Um, first off, a, a little bit of background for those that aren't familiar. Um, when you bid on a keyword in your Google AdWords account, uh, you have three different types. You have your uh, phrases, your exacts, and your broad. Um, your broad is where you just enter in a word, no quotes or brackets surrounding it. And when you're bidding on a broad match, Google looks at that and says they want to show their advertisements for people that bid on tooth implant, uh, for people that enter in a search term tooth implant. And any combination of tooth implant up to and including other words. So for instance, uh, using the AdWords functionality here, we're going to look at selected search terms that were also searched for under this term, this broad match term we're bidding on here. These are the four terms that uh, had been included under this bid. Dental implants, no space. How soon should implant be placed in mouth after tooth extraction? Tooth transplant cost and tooth implant. So as you can see that's four very different search terms uh, for this one keyword, this broad match keyword that we're bidding on. And you can also see here that only one of these yielded a conversion. The other three, uh, more than half of that money we bid on was wasted. Uh, and that could be because the ad wasn't pertinent to the keywords that the, the user searched for. The landing page wasn't pertinent of course. Uh, just an all around bad deal. Uh, so what you can do to avoid this, uh, of course you can always use your uh, C search terms here. Um, you can add these as a negative keyword um, or add them as a keyword. But what I'm going to show you today is how to set this up in analytics so that your pretty analytics report can reflect the correct keywords and not just the one you're bidding on. So what you want to do is go to your analytics. We're going to add a new website profile. And it's going to be for an existing domain that we're already tracking. It's going to be a complement to uh, your existing analytics campaign. We're going to name it the True Query Report for AdWords because it's going to show exactly what we're using. And we are going to populate it with the AdWords uh, cost data from our account as well. So we'll finish that. Now what we need to do is find this account that we just created and we're going to edit it and go down to the filters. We're going to add a filter and if you're not familiar with filters uh, they allow you to manipulate the data in a way that makes it easier to read uh, or in this case to show exactly what we're doing. We'll name it True Keywords and this is going to be a custom filter and advance and the field A to extract A we're going to use the referral variable and I'll also make this query here this uh, regular expression available uh, on my blog um, I just copy pasted it in there for the sake of time the second one we're going to do is campaign medium which is going to be CPC and PPC depending on which uh, search engine you're coming from and the third one is a custom field three and we're gonna set these to yes, case sensitive no, and we're gonna save that filter. We're also gonna have to set up a second filter. We'll call this true keywords two this again is 
going to be a custom filter to advanced and custom field one and we're going to use the regular expression wildcard campaign term and again the wildcard and campaign term and we're going to compile these two fields together and spit it out and set required to yes and that all looks good there now you need to make sure that your sequence is set right uh, the first one needs to be true keywords one and the second true keywords two. Um, if your sequence is out of whack, it will not work. Um, and that is it. Uh, when you go back uh, to your analytics report, uh, let's zoom up here. <clears throat> My mistake I clicked on the wrong item there and when we go to your traffic sources and your keywords report what you used to have was these only the keywords that you were bidding on um, if it fell under a broad match and it was a keyword that you were not bidding on uh, it would show up here only under what you were bidding on so as I showed you in the other example back here in AdWords um, it would only show this keyword here that you're bidding on even though the actual keywords that people are typing in could be very different uh, now in your keyword reports here uh, it will show exactly what that user typed in and allow you to make accurate decisions based on your conversion rates uh, of what people are actually searching for and help you to hone in and, and refine your campaign so again Colin with uh, Smartbox Web Marketing and I hope you enjoyed uh, our tutorial for today. Thank you.